Okay, I want to demonstrate what heat does when you lay a bead on something and then kind of how to tack something like this. I've got a piece of flat iron here and I've got a piece of tube. It's loose. Nothing. nothing it's not tacked or anything. Now I just want to show you right now with this framing square, you don't see a gap anywhere on that square. It, it's square to the piece. Now what I want to do is show you the wrong way to tack and weld something like this if you expect it to stay in the same spot. And hopefully we'll kill two birds with one stone here and uh, show you the right way to tack and what heat can do to metal. So what I want to do is I'm just going to tack this. And this is, that's the wrong place to tack because I'm going to weld on this side. And we'll just double check that again. It looks like it warped a little bit. I can push it back and get it square. But you'll see what I'm getting at here. Now I'm going to go ahead and lay a bead on this side. And go ahead and keep your eye up here and you can probably watch this thing move as we go. So here it goes. I don't have a notch cut out of my square, but look at it. Check this out. I got the square flat. I'm hitting up here at the top corner. Check out that gap right there at the bottom. That's how much that thing moved because I didn't put a tack on this side. So, you know, I mean, and that's a pretty good weld on there. Now, when I go to break this off, obviously I can't do anything that way. But I go to break it off here. Broke right off. So let's try this again. Looks like I got a little hole in my tube there, but I'll, I'll turn it around. Now, see we're almost square. It's okay. I'm going to put a tack on the correct side. side just to hold it. Pretty darn square. I mean there's just an ever slight gap right there. Now I'm going to pack another one on this corner. Well I like to tack in the corners because it'll blend in when I weld. So let me check this one last time. We're good. Now I'm going to lay my bead on the same side and watch what those two little tacks do. This thing shouldn't move much. Here we go. Check that out. It pulled a little bit, but it didn't pull near as bad. So that, that ought to demonstrate the difference that heat makes and where to tack something. Uh, this this is something where if I lay the bead on that side, if I don't have a big hole there now, it might even come back some. So hopefully that helps.